Mike and Fixin here with Great Road Built. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up. Today we're going to be talking about iron balancer installation. When we buy an iron balancer, they typically all come 44 inches long. All right, none of your staircase handrail systems are ever 44 inches tall, so they all need to be cut. So what we'll do first is take a measurement of what the distance is from the landing tread to the bottom of the handrail is. In this case, we're 34 and a half. We want the iron baluster to be about an inch longer than what our span is. So um, I've gone ahead and pre-cut one, all right, that we're gonna install. Uh, we will show you how to cut the iron balusters in another segment, but this baluster is 35 half inches and ready for installation. Now, when I install these, I use a PL, okay? And he's kind of like a liquid nail, not as gummy as a liquid nail. The stair industry is going to want to sell you an epoxy. That's kind of pricey. There's no need for that. Go for about $4.80 at Home Depot or Lowe's. Plug for Home Depot and Lowe's. And that's usually what I use to install, um, always what I use to install the balancer. So we're going to put a little bit of glue up into the top of the hole. All right, just a little bit. You can't really see it from where you're at, but I mean, just enough. You don't want to put too much in there because then it's going to ooze out. We do the same thing at the bottom. And when you put these balancers in, if you've ever done it before or if you've ever seen them before, the worst part of an iron balancer job is when you look up and you see the glue that is oozed all around the top of the balancer or all along the bottom of the floor. It's very important that we keep it clean. You know, we don't want glue gunked up. We don't want glue up on the handrail. So if something does happen to ooze out, make sure we clean it out and make it look nice and pretty. Uh, we're gonna take our baluster. We're gonna go up into the hole that we drilled in our earlier segment. We're going to kind of spin it as we get up in there. And what we don't want to do is scratch this floor. The most important part here is to not nick this landing train. So go up enough to where we miss it. We've got a little bit of an air gap there. And then we're just going to kind of spin it in place. It grabs the glue. I'm going to take a little piece of uh, paper towel or rag or whatever you got. Just make sure we don't have any glue around the rim of the hole. Make sure we don't have any glue around the bottom. Discard that on top of our little pile here. Um, that glue is going to need about three to four hours to really set up and cure, so don't touch them or spin them. Sometimes we've got the little shoe around the bottom. In this case, we don't. Um, these things should never shake, rattle, or spin. Okay, so if anything ever moves, you did something wrong. Um, that would be it for this segment in iron baluster installation. I am Mike and Fix It with Greater Oak Build. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the thumbs up. Have a great day. Over and out.